luxury lingerie brand Rigby and Peller lost the royal warrant after 57 years. There is speculation the move could be in response to former owner's book. She says she did not mean to upset anyone and book was more of a memoir. The Queen's bra fitter has been left deeply hurt after being stripped of her royal warrant in an apparent snub over a tell-all about her life. June Kenton, 82, whose former firm, Rigby & Peller, was first granted the coveted honour 57 years ago, and has personally held the Queen's warm since 1982, was dropped like a stone by the monarch in July and despite pleas for an explanation hasn't heard a word from the royal household since. This has led to speculation that the 91-year-old monarch was offended by a book that Mrs Kenton, who worked her way up from a Brixton market to stall to become one of the most respected names in the lingerie world, wrote in 2016 entitled Storm in a D-Cup. In the book she wrote about fitting bras for a half-dressed queen, who was surrounded by corgis. She also talked about the late Queen Mother, who also awarded her a royal warrant, and detailed how Diana came for bra fittings and accepted posters of models in lingerie and swimwear for her sons, William and Harry. Mrs Kenton said last night that she thought Buckingham Palace had overreacted. We never come out of the fitting room talking about a customer, ever. Let alone the Queen. I've never said one single word every time I've been about the Queen, she said. It is very sad for me that they didn't like it and I'm finding that very difficult to accept. It's horrible and a real shock. I never ever thought when I was writing the book that it would upset anyone. I've had the royal warm for so long I never imagined that this would happen. Her daughter, Jill Kenton, told the Mail, I'm so sad for my mum, as she actually wrote the book for her children and grandchildren. We thought it was a lovely, colourful life story. Unfortunately when we launched it, it was made out to be a kiss and tell, which it absolutely wasn't. When she was told that she had lost the warrant it was a huge shock, as my mother has been nothing but loyal throughout her whole career. Her daughter added, my mother would never have done anything to slate the royal family, ever. This has actually destroyed her. After all these years working for the Queen, the Queen Mother, for whom she also had a royal warrant, Diana it is heartbreaking. Mrs Kenton enjoyed a rags-to-riches story, starting off on a clothes still in Brixton Market. In 1982 she bought struggling Rigby and Pella which, despite its royal warrant, was in dire financial straits. She paid £20,000 for the name and after several interviews personally became official courtier to the Queen, as well as the Queen Mother the following year. Other high-profile clients included Margaret Thatcher and Lady Gaga. Mrs Kenton turned the company into one of the leading lingerie retailers in the world, with bra selling for more than £100. She eventually sold it to Belgian lingerie company Van de Velde for £8 million in 2011, but retained a seat on the board and continued to fit the Queen personally at least three times a year. Her daughter said, the book was about her life, from World War II. The Queen happened to enter her life and yes, she did mention her. There was no great personal detail included, yet somehow it's been portrayed to be a kiss and tell like Paul Burrell did on Diana. No one from Buckingham Palace said a word to us at the time, no one expressed any unhappiness. She just got a letter out of the blue from the Royal Warrant Holders Association in July bluntly informing her that she wasn't being granted a royal warrant anymore. This has all deeply hurt my mother, particularly the way it was done. She knows all the staff including Angela, Kelly, the Queen's dresser. 
and all of a sudden the con, 